Now that we've gotten rid of the riffraff, let's get down to the serious hoarders, you and me. First of all, I'm going to show you what to do with some of those leathers that we have laying around. The ones that you question all the time and ask yourself, how did I wind up with all of these stirrup leathers when I own one saddle? Well, here's a great way that you can do a home decor item that can hang in your bathroom or hang in your kitchen. And it's very simple to do. It only takes a couple of minutes and I'm going to show you how to do it. So are you ready? Now just remember, safety first. Put on your goggles or you could use a pair of your riding goggles if you'd like. But anyway, you should have safety first. Next is a simple hammer. Then if you check and see whether or not there's a stud that you can hammer into and if there isn't, a simple molly with a screw will work. You need a drill, like so, and also a bit so that you know what size you can put into the drill. And last but not least is a hole punch because just in case you want to adjust your stirrup length on the stirrup iron, you have a hole punch to do it with. Next, we're going to take our stirrup leathers, like so, and a stirrup iron. Now we can do this two or one, you can do either way to get rid of more tack actually. <laughs> but this is, this is all the items that you're going to need to make this great home decor. So the first thing that you will do is check on your wall whether or not there's a stud. The way you do that is you just, and when you start hearing it being a little deeper in the knock, you know you've hit a stud. They're usually about 13 to 16 inches apart. So if you have a stud, then all you need to do is just screw right into the stud because it'll hold the weight of the stirrup iron. But if you don't have it, then what I will show you to do is how to screw in a molly. And the molly will help you hold the weight. This is a molly which you can pick up at any hardware store, okay? To start, I would do what's called a pilot nail or a screw just to start your hole. That helps when you molly, when you put your molly in, like so. Next, get your drill. And what I did was put a medium-sized drill bit into this drill and make sure you take off your safety and put on your safety goggles. Okay, and we're ready to go. Oh, take off the safety <laughs> on the drill. <laughs> See, even I can do this. <laughs> if I can do this, you could do this. Right in. Reverse, so that come right out. So now you have your hole ready to put your molly in. First you start by taking the molly and hammering it into that nice little hole you just made, like so. So it starts in. So now you have it's gripping. Next to decide is what length you'd like to have your stirrup leather be, since they all come in different sizes. This is an actual longer stirrup leather that I have here with this iron. I'm going to run this through, and I decided that if I put it at the last hole that's on here, it might be a little bit too long once I put my towel in. So what you can do, this is where your hole punch comes in, is if you grab your hole punch, like so, and just start wedging like this, you can put a hole, ah, there we go, right through. Actually, I really did that before I filmed this, <laughs> but we're going to let you think I just did it now and I'm so strong. <laughs> so, you put the, your hole right through. Hey, if Martha Stewart can do it, I can do it too. So, you put this through like this, she says, and now you have a good length for your stirrup leather to hang down on the wall, like so. So are you ready to drill? Here goes. See, now you're drilling through the hole that you made with your hole punch into your leather, and now you're right into your molly. So you're 
It means pushing it a little bit, but we're getting there. So here you go. You have a towel hanging on the, your extra stirrup, iron and leather, and of course, look what I found. One of our own linen guest towels you could hang on there, which you can get on our webpage. Um, also, if you'd like to cut off the excess here, it's very easy to do. You can either cut it yourself with a utility knife, or if you're someone like me, go to your local shoemaker because he'll go in and he'll cut it for you. And then you can have this shorter. But basically, you can do any length that you'd like. And then you have this wonderful new idea of how to use some of those stirrup leathers.